Hey guys, this is Zach here, back with another video. And this time we're taking a look at some Dragon Ball Super trading card game stuff. <laughs> On the Facebook page for Dragon Ball Super card game, uh, they had a thing that was like, hey, if you're a YouTuber, fill out this form and we'll send you something. And that was a long time ago, and I have no idea what it was for. <laughs> so I have no idea what's in this. You can see it's actually from Japan. Uh, back, Tokyo, actually. Maybe they got mailed from Tokyo? I don't know. So, I have no idea what's in this. Uh, so let's just rip it open. I might have to take it off. Nope, I can do it right here. There we go. There's pink paper. That's nice. A lot of pink paper. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. I didn't even know this was a set. Is this the new set or is this an older set? Colossal Warfare. Yeah, it's a set I know of. Is this a deck? Oh, it's a deck! Oh, I didn't realize this was a deck. Oh, it's Brawly. Right? No, that's not Brawly. <laughs> Please don't kill me, DBZ fans. That's Goku. That's Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I, I got there. I just saw the trailer for the new Brawly Super movie, and it looks amazing. Oh, I didn't know there'd be a deck in here. This is awesome. And they gave us four or five packs? Nice. Oh, man. Okay, I'm excited now. Ooh, yeah. So, five booster packs. I really need to catch up on Super. I, I said that last time we did a Dragon Ball Super card game video, but I've not caught up at all. I have no idea who that is. That's Goku. I know that. I have no idea who that is. Is that Goku going Super Saiyan? Uh, Super Saiyan Big Monkey Mode? And that's Super Saiyan Blue Goku, right? Okay, I, I know my things. <laughs> Alright, so... Consists of 50 cards, a 1 leader card, play manual, and play sheet. I'm ready to play 51 card deck. Okay, I think that's good enough. It looks like... Um, most things is 4 copies, and there's a couple things that are 2 ofs. So if you really wanted to get a place out of everything, you could just buy 2 of these. But I don't know how needed those 2 copies are. All right. Okay, let's get this open. How are we doing this? Does this have... Oh, okay. Oh, already broke it. Good job. Okay. <laughs> what do we got in here? Oh. All right. <laughs> so there's the deck. Uh, this is the play mat. And it looks like the rule sheet. Thankfully, it's on separate things. All right. Wow. That is a... That's an image. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that one's Goku, right? So I don't know who or what this is. Looks like he has, like, Frieza armor on. I don't know. Oh, man. What's on the back of this? Oh, so we've got the, the FAQ and keywords and stuff on the back. This game is not really, not very complicated whatsoever. It just has a lot of keywords, and it's a very Japanese card game, if that makes any sense. It's got a lot of the things that Japanese card games love to have. All right, so we'll put that back there. And what is, whoop, nope, stay up there. Goku, Goku, good enough. Let's see this. It's been so long since I've actually played. I actually need, like, a refresher. Play manual version 1.3. Because there's a lot of new stuff that I've been trying to, like, keep track of, um, but I haven't really looked too much into. Uh, there's a bunch of new keywords and abilities, and I think there's, like, a remove from game zone now. There's all kinds of stuff. Yeah, that is Goku. Golden Great Ape Sun Goku. Super Saiyan 4. Isn't that like technically Super Saiyan 5? It's just like the the ape going Super Saiyan. Isn't that what it was? Oh man. So yeah, there's three types of cards in the game. There's your leader card. It starts the game outside your deck. There's the battle card, which is all of the fighters. And then there's the extra card, which is everything else, like events and stuff like that. Uh, yep, you charge, just like Kaijudo. Uh, main phase, play all your cards, and then in the main phase you actually attack, which is, I like that a lot about this game, and then you end your phase. Deck building is super easy. Uh, one leader, 50 cards, no more than four copies of a card, that's it. And then, 
And what's on the back? This feels like I'm reading a newspaper. <laughs> yep, charge phase, untap everything, or I guess active all your cards. Doesn't have to create the ring stand. Draw a card, then put any card you want upside down into your energy zone. Yep, just like Kaijudo slash Duel Masters. And yep, yeah, the cool thing I like about this game is there's no separate like attack phase or battle phase. It's just in your main phase. You can choose to attack with someone that leads to a battle phase and then you go back to the main phase afterwards. So you can just keep doing stuff. Yeah, and the, the, the battles are really fun because it's kind of like a bluffing game. Like basically, uh, you get to put you get to boost up your fighter as much as you want, but then your opponent gets to boost up their fighter. So it's really fun. Like, man, I gotta start playing this again. And yep, combos, combos, combos. Cool. All right. And also, like Kaijudo slash Duel Masters, it has shields. So all right. Uh, the only thing I don't love about this game is the backs. I like that they're simple, um, but they're kind of just boring, right? I don't know. But the freaking art and everything, and the, especially the foil, makes up for it a hundred times. I will not be a fool on camera. I will find this. Oh, there it is. I see it. Hey, there we go. All right. So let's just look at Goku by himself first, because good god. I don't need to say it, but these cards are gorgeous. I would honestly, like, I haven't just, like, collected a card game just for the fun of collecting, like, since Pokemon when I was a little kid. I would absolutely just collect these cards just because they're freaking beautiful. Look how awesome that foil is, and look how much it destroys my camera. <laughs> Oh, it's so cool. Okay, so what does Goku do? Long odd Super Saiyan 4 Son Goku. Oh, is this his business? Nope, that's... Okay, so we start on this side. My bad. <laughs> leader front. So you start on this side. So auto, when this card attacks a leader, you draw a card. I think that's pretty normal for a lot of leaders. He has 10,000 power. He is Son Goku from the GT... Or he's the GT's Son Goku, I guess. He's from the Saiyan Goku's lineage special trait, and he's from the Baby Saga era of the card game. I don't know what the Overrealm thing is. I think it's maybe the block? I'm not sure. So, Awaken. When your life is four or less, you may choose up to two of your energies, switch them into active mode, and flip this card over. So usually it's like when your life is four or less, you get to activate them. So as soon as your life is four or less, at any time, your opponent's turn in the middle of something... You get to turn two of your energy up and then f awaken him into Sun Goku. And this one is the same thing. 15,000 power when it attacks, draw a card. But now, when your life is less than or equal to your opponent's life, he gets 5,000 power and critical. And critical means when it inflicts damage to your opponent's life, they place that many cards in their drop area instead of their hand. Oh yeah, so just like Kaijudo or Duel Masters, whenever you attack their shields, they get to add to their hand. Critical means they put them straight into the drop zone. They don't get to get them in their hand. So that can be really, really bad. All right, awesome. So there's our leader. And then look at all these cards. So this is a Reborn Might Super Saiyan 4 Sun Goku battle card. He costs five and you need two yellow to play him. And there's so many things on here. Okay, swap eight. That's a new thing. So you pay four yellow energy and then you, oh, okay. Play the specified card from your hand, then return this card to your hand. Oh! So you can pay for yellow energy, and then you swap this card with a Goku's Lineage card with an energy cost of 8 in your hand, and then return this one to your hand. That's cool. Alright. Uh, also, the card's beautiful, obviously. So you can activate on your main phase, once per turn, choose one card from your life and add it to your hand, switch this card to active mode, and if you have two life or less, this card gains triple strike. Wow. So basically, it hurt yourself, but he gets to stand up and attacks and does three damage if he hits. Phew, okay, that's pretty cool. Alright, so there's Goku, and there's Bardock, there's Daddy. I'm not going to read all the cards. 
I'll just read the ones that stick out to me. Super Saiyan Blue, Son Goku at the Apex. So he, he has another swap 8. So somewhere in here there must be 8 cost, 8 energy cost uh, fighters, maybe? Yeah, I don't know about that swap 8 thing. I must be missing something because I don't see anything that costs 8 energy in here. Unless you like can play two fours or something, or maybe it's something that increases energy. I don't know, because this isn't seven energy, it's five, and you have to pay two yellow. So I I don't know. I'm missing something there. Let's, let's continue though. So barrier, it cannot be chosen by the skills of your opponent's cards. That's really cool. Double strike, and then auto when you play this card, if your leader is a Goku's lineage card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. Really, really good. So there's four of those, and then and yep, we got the non-foil version of that Goku. Gunhan, go, what? Gunhan, Gohan. <laughs> Swap four. So I know there's definitely cards that cost four, so I know how to do that one. When you play it, choose your opponent's rest mode, battle card, and KO it. Son Goku, just regular Super Saiyan Goku. So I guess there's just, this whole deck is about swapping, I guess. Goku, swap three. There's baby Goku, swap two. Super Saiyan, uh, baby Goku, swap five. Everything swaps, I guess. I guess you're just constantly swapping cards in and out. And there's baby Gohan, swap three. Uh, Go tens for swap four. Oh, Pan. Hey, you're in here. Swap five. Super combo. You can only include up to four cards with super combo in your deck. Okay. Uh, oh, her combo is zero, so it must do something. When you combo with this card, if your leader card is a yellow, Goku's lineage and your life is four or less, draw one card, and this gains 10,000 power. Combo power for the duration turn. Wow, okay. So, these are almost like perfect guards, I guess, in Vanguard terms. <laughs> You only have four of them in your deck, and they just gave you a huge combo boost and let you draw a card if you're falling behind. That's really cool. I like that. I like, and yet I like more like four of things in your deck. There's Angry Chi Chi. You play this card, look at three cards at the top of your deck, choose one Goku's lineage from among them, add to your hand. Okay. Oh, there's uh, actually Gohan, who Gohan's named after. That's cool. I haven't seen him in forever. Uh, swap two and blocker. He's the only blocker I've seen so far. Huh. Alright, and then we have the extra cards. So ten times Kamehameha. You can activate in battle. If your leader is Goku with Son Goku in its character name, it gets 15,000 power and double strike. Okay. It only costs one. That's cool. Instant transmission. So this is your Stopping an attack card. It's the last one. So you can negate the attack, and then if your leader is Goku, when you activate this card's counter, you may choose one card in your life, add it to your hand. If you do, you may activate this card's counter without paying its energy cost. Okay. <laughs> so basically, you can just take a damage to stop the whole attack, or you can just pay one to stop it. That's kind of interesting. Cool. So I definitely have no idea how to play this deck, because all this swapping thing is confusing to me. <laughs> But I am super excited to play with it. I gotta go find my other decks now. So there's Goku. So I'm gonna crack open these packs because I really wanna see what's in here. All right, so let's save the Gokus for last and do the weird guy second and see who this monkey is because I don't know who this is. All right, thank you, Japanese packs. All right, I have no idea what the order is for these packs, so let's find out. Dark Kamehameha. If your leader card is Mira, I don't know who that is. I feel bad, I need to catch up. <laughs> Vow Revenge, is that the same guy? Maybe. So I guess this is, this is like an evil Saiyan monkey guy. Newfound Power Son Gohan. Another instant transmission. Hirudgarn the Wanderer. Um, is that half of Cell? I'm just going to keep going. I have no idea. <laughs> Power Friendship Pan. Another Go Gohan. Dark Vassal Symbol. Okay. 
Raging Energy Blast Gotenks. <laughs> Dependable Mom Bulma. All right. Time's Choice, Supreme Kai of Time. And, ooh. Jiren, Universe's Strongest. What rarity is this? Super rare. Okay, wow, we did good. This is going to blow my camera up. Uh, I don't know anything about Super, but I know that this guy is one of the main bad guys, right? If not the main bad guy. He costs 12, and then six of them have to be yellow. Wow, okay, so what does this guy do? 40,000 power, good god. Uh, deflect, this card isn't affected by counter play skills. Okay. Quadruple strike, it does four damage instead of one when it attacks, good god. Permanent, when there are nine or more universe 11 cards in your drop area, reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by six. Wow. Wow, okay. And then permanent, during battles when this card attacks, your opponent may not activate counter or blocker. Wow. He's evil. <laughs> that is a bad card. Bad in a good way. Wow, okay. So that's cool. He's, yeah, he's yellow, so I could make a deck with him, I guess. All right. So good start. Let's see who's in this weird guy's pack. Come on. Oh, we got a leader. Uncontrollable Bardock. Cool. So what is this front? This Bardock. Cool. So we got another leader we could use if we wanted to. Iron. Oh, we got another leader. I didn't know it was possible. Wow. Trunks. And then he awakens into Iron Vow Trunks. Cool. I don't know you can get two leaders in a pack. Uh, another one of those pans. Saiyan Daughter Bulla? I don't... Does Bulma have another kid? I don't remember that. Okay. Tapion. Head Honcho Meta Matcha. I remember him. Ugh. Yeah, I remember him. <laughs> Excuse me? Vengeful Onslaught? <laughs> Ugh, okay, we're skipping that one. Fletching Talent Pan. I remember that. Dende. Kane Hearted and Mechian Dende. Another one of those Gokus. Poutine. And Demigra's Thrall. Alright, and then... Ooh, another super rare. Wow. I don't at all know how the rarities work in this game, but I think two super rares is cool. Combo Killer Anal Analaza? Analaza? Barrier Double Strike once per turn. When it, your opponent combos, they choose one card in their hand and place it in the drop zone. Oh, so he kills combos. I get it. <laughs> wow, okay. Awesome. So two super rares. I'm assuming SR is super rares. Maybe it's stupid rare. I don't know. Come on, give me the card. Give me the card. There we go. Okay. I was... Wondering if that said seasoning arrow, but apparently it does. <laughs> okay. Hey, we got Bardock again. Same one. Gravy. Lightning's Might. So it's good to know they didn't stop with the stupid fun, the, the stupid food names in Dragon Ball Super. Matamacha. Ox King. Man, you, you, you were a thing for like an episode. I remember that. Sneak Attack Vegeta. Dimension Support Trunks. Sacrifice. It probably would mean a lot more if they, they didn't sacrifice themselves every episode and get brought back from the dead. Explorer Bulma. That's really cool. Heavenly Wizard Demigra. Bardock of Destiny Sun Goten. And... Oh, just a rare this time. Discover Dynasty Sun Gohan. Swap five, barrier. When you play this card, swap with swap, draw two cards. Cool. All right. Ooh. Time Trauma Masked Saiyan. Isn't he from the game? Like the video game? 
I remember they made a big deal about they were having characters from like Xenoverse in the card game. That's really cool. What? Invental Defense Hero Hero Jigarn Hero Jigarn. That's the guy I thought was cell cut in half, I guess. So it is a different guy. Okay, sure. <laughs> Energy Burst, Son Goku. Just a little red leader card. Cool. Deadly Go Deadly Golden Great Ape Son Goku. God. <laughs> Swap five when you you may not play this card to area unless your leader is Son Goku GT. Okay. When you play this card, you just have to one Goku's range and the energy cost of five or less, other than other than Deadly Great blah 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 Goku <laughs> from your deck, add it to your hand, shuffle your deck. Okay. It's kinda cool. Power Barrier Piccolo throwing his cape off. Bulla again. Heroic Encounter Trunks. Frigid Blast Poutine. Minus Kill Zone. Wow. Um, okay. <laughs> There's Pan again. Daily Training Vegeta. Oh yeah, that was his weird GT haircut. I remember that. And then, oh, another super rare! Oh wow, what is this? Temporal Darkness Demigra. I guess he turns into that dragon thing? Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, what does this do? Dark Over Realm 7. You pay 4 if you have at least 7 black cards black cards in your drop area. You may play this card by sending all cards in your drop area to your warp, which is removed from play. Over Realm and Dark Over Realm can only be activated once per turn. Okay. So you don't Oh, this is a black card. I just realized it's black. <laughs> so this is one of not the four main colors. This is a different, like, evil color. So you can't pay seven regularly to play it, I guess. I guess you have to play it this way? Or maybe it's just a cheaper way to do it. It must just be a cheaper way to do it. So you only pay four instead of seven, and then seven black cards in your drop area. Okay. When you play this card, choose 30,000 power. When you play this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards sent to the warp, then change, then choose up to one battle card from your warp with an energy cost of four or less and play it. Wow. That is super cool. I can't believe we've gotten three super rares. I don't know what the rarity ratio is. But definitely, <laughs> what, my past, like, probably like four years on YouTube just has been all used up in these packs. <laughs> Special Beam Cannon. That corner got messed up in the package. Intensifying Power Trunks. Iron Vow Trunks again. Goku. That thing. Adonic Warrior Angela. I remember that guy. He was confusing. <laughs> Dark Vassal Drum. Blaze of Glory Sun Gohan. Oh, there's Videl with Little Pan. <laughs> Say a man too. Yep. I remember that. Quick dodge, Sun Go Ten. And another rare. Lord Slug Young again. I loved this movie when I was a kid. What does this do? Bond 2, Slug's Army. This skill takes effect when you have two or more of the, sp of the specified battle cards in play. So you have to have two Slug's Army cards in play when you play this card, I guess. One slug's army in your drop area with energy cost three. Play it and then choose one of your energy and switch it to active mode. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh god, I love the foil in these cards. Okay, was that the last pack? That was the last pack. <laughs> I thought we had one more. All right, so I think I'm going to end it there. Um, I am super excited to play this game again. I'm actually going to Gen Con in a couple of weeks, and hopefully they'll have a booth there again, and I can see what other cool stuff is out now. All right, I got to go find my decks and start building new decks now. <laughs> I'm super excited to play this. Uh, thank you again, Bandai, for sending me these to show off to you guys. And I have got to go turn the air back on. This is 106 outside. Good God. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.